Hey, what's going on guys? Today, I wanna to talk about honoring your gift. Your gift is a natural talent or yeah, a natural talent that you need to develop. And I like the way Steve Harvey described it. I thought it was absolutely perfect. He said, your gift is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. And I thought that was really powerful because it just made sense. And I'll give you an example, just so you can get an idea of what maybe you should be doing in order to find your gift. And then after that, I'm gonna go over three reasons as to why you need to start making this a priority and the benefits that you will experience as a result of honoring your gift. So my story, when I was a kid, one of the things that always, I guess, captivated me and made me curious was words. And I never thought of much of it at the time, but I would naturally just write stories. I remember being 10, 11 years old, just writing stories wherever I could, at home, at school, like wherever, right? And I had this teacher at the time, and I still remember her name, Mrs. Burroughs, and she would see that I was always just writing. And one, of the, and one day I remember that she, she came up to me and she asked me if I ever thought about writing a book because at this time it was just like on scraps of paper, or like on my homework and, you know, loose leaf uh, sheets of paper as well. And it was just kind of scatterbrained. It was all over the place. And, she, and so she asked me if I ever thought about writing a book and I told her no. And then she encouraged me to do so. And, you know, um, she was a really beautiful woman. And I, you know, I can't lie. I had a bit of, cr of a crush on her and I wanted to make her happy. And so I was just like, okay, whatever. I'll write a damn book. And so I ended up writing this book. And keep in mind, I'm like 10 years old. And so I wrote, I just made up this story and I, I wrote the book and she even helped me. Like when I finished writing the book and I presented it to her, she even helped me laminate the cover because I had also drawn and colored in or yeah, laminate the cover because I had drawn and colored the cover as well. And she helped me bind it together, like bind all of the pages together and help me actually make like a book. And, you know, from there, I just wrote like thousands and thousands of pages worth of stories. And by the time I was 14, I started getting into rap and hip hop. I started, you know, making music, writing rhymes, all of these songs. I started practicing my freestyles. This carried me all the way throughout my teens into my 20s. I would say about mid to late 20s. And around that time, I started to get into public speaking. And so I started speaking at different, you know, organizations, conferences, charity events, birthday parties, you know, and, and other types of things of this nature. And all all of those things like the the common denominator that that strung all of those things together was the love of words i mean if you look at, at all of these things like the writing the rapping the speaking the main thing that binds all of these activities together is words and so that was my gift my gift was with words and i'm still honoring that gift to this day i'm, I'm writing blog posts every day i have writing clients i mean my career is in writing I'm writing books. I'm working on my second book right now. Uh, I still practice my freestyling, even though it's not the main thing in my life anymore. I'm still giving speeches on personal development and self-improvement. Like I'm still doing all of these things. And it all stemmed from my love of words because that's my gift. That's what God, the creator, has gifted me with. And similarly, you have a gift. If you're not following it right now, then you need to go back into you know those early years when you were growing up, what was it that captivated you? Where did you focus your attention? What made you excited and enthralled you as a youngster growing up? And this is going, when you get the answer to this question, this is going to pave the way and lead you to what it is that you need to be doing in your life because we all have that. There's nothing special about me. We all have a gift. We all have something that is innate and natural to our character, to our being, to who we are as an individual. And we need to honor that because that's what's going to lead us to great places. That's what's going to give us incredible experiences. That's what's going to allow us to meet and connect with the right people in our lives is that gift. And so we got to follow that. And so I want to give you uh, three reasons why you need to follow your gift and uncover it if you haven't already. And these are reasons that I've experienced in my own life. And so I just wanted to share them with you so that you can understand what is going to be on the other side of this process. All right. And so reason number one is confidence. Confidence is probably the first thing that you're going to begin developing as you follow your gift and as you cultivate it. And I say this because when you're good at something, but not just good at anything, when you're good at something that you love and enjoy, something that brings you happiness and satisfaction just by 
doing it, just by engaging in that activity, there's a profound sense of richness that comes from that. There is just something so potent about being excellent at what it is that you love to do. And it's hard for me to put it into words. I, I feel like my words don't do it justice, but it's something that all of us need to experience. And when we do do this, we, we walk around with with a sense that we are on the right path, with a, with a sense of self-assuredness within our bones, that we're doing the right things in our lives. You know, so many people don't have the confidence in their lives, in themselves, and on the path that they're on because they're not living in their gift. They're not doing what they know deep down that they should be doing. And they may not know quite yet what they should be doing, but they do know that what they're doing right now is not what they should be doing. And so that's why it's so important to find and develop your gift because when you do there is an immense sense of confidence that comes from engaging in that every single day and it's irreplaceable nothing can be used as a substitute nothing at all and so reason number two i just have it uh, pulled up on my computer here reason number two is compensation so when you are living in your gift you're going to be practicing it and developing it and working on it my hair is a total mess right now um and working on it every single day and because you're doing it every single day, you're going to get good at it. And when you get good at it, people are going to recognize it. They're going to see the value in it. And then you're going to be compensated appropriately for it. Now, granted, this isn't a fast way to get rich. This is not a get rich quick scheme. It's going to take time and effort on your part. And when you actually do do it, though, it's something that you're probably not going to... Well, there are two trains of thoughts when it comes to this. Number one is... You may not be absolutely filthy rich from living your gift, depending on what it is. You may not be absolutely filthy rich from it, but you will make enough money for your needs and for your wants. It may not be in abundant amounts, although it may be. Again, this all depends on what it is that your gift is, but you will be enough where you will be good. You won't have to worry about money. And then there's the other aspect where, again, depending on what it is that your gift is, you can make a ridiculous and astonishing <laughs> amount of money doing what it is that you do, okay? And like that right there is magic too. And so really, it's like, there's nothing wrong with either one of those things. You know, depending on what it is that you know intrinsically that you need to be doing with your life, like both of those are, like you're, you're winning on both of those avenues. So don't think just because, you know, your gift isn't gonna make you millions and millions of dollars every year that all of a sudden, you know, it's not worth pursuing. Absolutely not, because Money, as great as it is, I love money, I think money is incredible, but as great as it is, it can never ever compete with that rich feeling that comes with becoming excellent at what you do. And the fulfillment knowing that deep down you're doing what your soul wants you to do, what design, what God has designed you to do. Nothing can compare to that. No amount of money can compete with that feeling. All right, so just, just keep that in mind. But compensation it will come as long as you develop your gifts and you put in the time to become excellent at what it is that you're supposed to do and the last but not least we've touched on this already numerous times the last thing or the last reason why you need to honor your gift is contentedness again when we are living in our gifts when we are doing what we know we need to be doing in our lives and we are honoring and following that path there is a feeling that it's just the feeling that you're living right, that you know you're doing what you should be doing with your life and that what you're doing is having an impact on the world around you and on other people around you. And that is the kind of contentedness that I think that we're all looking for in life. I mean, beyond money, beyond you know instant gratification, uh, any of those things, be, just beyond all of it. I think the one thing that we want is just the feeling that we're doing the right thing, that that our life has some kind of meaning and that what we're doing matters. And when you live in your gift and you honor it every single day, you will experience this. Even if you're not making the kind of money that you know society would deem as successful. And I think that in and of itself makes it all worth it. But those are the reasons why you need to be following and honoring your gift. And if you don't know what it is, then again, go back to the questions that I posed to you earlier in this video. Look back into your past and ask yourself what it is that contributed to your excitement and to your happiness as a child and go back and rediscover those things. But that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more self-improvement tips and advice, 
on how to just live a good life and how to accomplish all of your dreams and goals and conquer your challenges and difficulties, then be sure and sign up for the Motivated and Disciplined newsletter below where I will reach out to you weekly with breakthrough personal development tips. But that's all I have for today. Stay motivated and disciplined. Peace.